Hey, God bless everybody. I pray that everyone is doing amazing and well. This word I want to share with you today, I want to ask you a question before I begin. Can faith be seen? Can faith be seen? Paul reveals that reality. Now let's go here real quick. In Acts chapter 14, and starting here at verse number seven, and there they continued to preach the gospel, not anything else, not, not uh, realms or prophecy or, or wonders, the gospel. Here we go. Now at Lystra, a man sat who found a, now at Lystra, a man sat who found it impossible to use his feet for he was a cripple from birth and had never walked. Now I'm going to say something. Just because you have never doesn't mean you're not going to. Just because you may see or you may think it's impossible. What happens when God shows up through vessels that are used in the name of Jesus to bring the kingdom nigh due to the gospel being preached? And watch this. They were there preaching. But watch this. He was listening to Paul. He was listening to Paul as he talked. And Paul gazing. Now watch this. Here we go. Going back to the question in the beginning. And Paul gazing intently at him. At him and observing, now watch this, and observing that he had faith to be healed. Verse number 10. Paul shouted at him, saying, Stand. Erect on your feet, and he leaped up and he walked. Somebody say, Impossible encounters the Christ, impossible the thing that has never been done, that he was not able to do when a vessel filled with the Spirit of God comes to preach and teach the Word. By the preaching and the teaching of a vessel filled with the Spirit of God now confirms the Word through the demonstration of God's power to meet a person's need even in the midst. Or shall I say, an impossible against all odds never seen before never thought it would be possible didn't even have hope for this reality to become obtainable to have and to walk out and it came by now, I know what a lot of people out there that don't believe. They think that miracles went out with the apostles, which is a very sad mindset and a very sad faith, a very sad belief system that doesn't believe in Christ Jesus alive and living, working through a vessel to confirm the word. Just as Peter and John did, 
look upon us. Arise and stand. And the man, again, even at the temple, at the gates called beautiful, went jumping, leaping, and shouting of what had transpired and taken place. So can faith be seen? And the answer to, the, to that question is 100% absolutely. But who is it seen by? Those that are walking, filled, and led, and sent of the Lord. So the real question is not whether or not does God, can God, the real question we must ask is, did God really send these people? Did God really call those teachers? Did God really anoint those teachers? Because it is God working through to confirm his word of the message in which they preach that manifest his glory in their midst. Faith can be seen. Oh, yes, it can. I've been there. I know it to be true. Faith can be known. Even when the spirit of faith comes into a room, upon a situation, upon a people, a person, and or place. When the spirit of faith, I don't even know how to fully describe it other than there is a knowing beyond any doubt that in that moment, God is about to move. So just because you haven't seen it, and just because you might even doubt it, and just because you might even have said never, does not mean that when the word of God comes through vessels submitted to Christ, who come preaching and teaching the gospel of the kingdom as Christ did, to confirm the word as Christ did, going about doing good, healing all, healing all, healing all who were oppressed by the devil. Infirmities, sicknesses, diseases, affliction, demonic oppression, whatever it is, it is no match for the living Christ. So you all be blessed in Jesus name. Be encouraged today because the power of Jesus is still alive. The power of Jesus working through those to confirm the word in which we preach and teach, miracle signs and wonders. Do follow those that believe. The problem that those doubting Thomases have if they really don't believe. They say they have faith and they live in faith, but there's no evidence of that reality. So the fact that they speak against God like the children of Israel did in the desert and in the wilderness, those ministers do the very same thing. They're just like the very people that put and spit on Jesus and kick Jesus and mock Jesus. They still mock Jesus with their doubt. They still mock Jesus with their unbelief because God is alive and he still moves through the vessels. He still moves through his, through his people, through his sent ones, not those that are self-appointed, self-ordained, self-anointed. He uses those whom he chooses, period. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Faith can be seen. Oh, yes, it can. And what a beautiful thing it is. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus the glory. All of it. Nothing belongs to you. So ministers, I will say this. Don't you dare touch God's glory. It all belongs to Jesus. Be blessed in Jesus' name.